up with a thumbnail. Ah. Hello, my friends, it's Nina, and for this video, I... I'm wearing sweats all around. So for this video, I'm going to do a video that was highly requested. Look at me using those words. A lot of people apparently want to know what's in my backpack. I understand, I always am curious about what's in other people's backpacks. So now, I guess it's my turn. So for this video, I'm gonna show you what I have in my backpack when I go to college, because I go to college, I go to UC Berkeley, I'm a third year. So this is my backpack. It's just the standard Herschel backpack with one, two pockets. There's no side pockets. It's a little inconvenient, but it's okay. I don't really carry that many drinks with me, except for my trusty water bottle. It's a little annoying that I always have to carry my water bottle around, but the sacrifices you make to have a cute backpack, I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna just show you what's on my backpack right now. I just have a bunch of pins. So these two pins show different places in San Francisco. And then this one I got from my little brother on Valentine's Day because someone gave him a pin and he just gave it to me. This one says stay positive. And I really try to, so. This is just a daily reminder, I guess. This one is a pin that I got, I think, on my birthday from my friend Tate. It has a little pig riding a paper airplane. It's really cute. And then this one has a really cute story. So this is from my friend Sophia. So she sent me a card in the mail and then had this little pin in it. The magpie is the national bird of South Korea. Isn't that cute? And she's really into birds. It's part of her major in college. So it's just, it's really sweet. It's just sitting on my backpack. So next I will just show you what's in my backpack. It's all the nice juicy stuff now. So the first thing I'm gonna take out is my laptop. So I have your standard MacBook Pro. I got this in 2015, so after I graduated high school. It hasn't let me down yet. So I carry this every single day in the deep pocket. Do you see the deep pocket right here? Um, I could give my laptop a case, but I haven't gotten around to doing that. But my laptop has lasted till now, so I think, I think it's fine for now. The next thing in the big pocket is just the folder. I think I've had this folder since the beginning of high school. I had a purple one too. Just holds loose papers. Nice and blue. The next thing in my big pocket are just notebooks because I still write in notebooks. And then I take really pretty notes, as you can see. But I still like writing my notes. It just, you maintain the information a lot better when you write everything down and then go through it again, just highlight and then annotate. I literally just annotate my notes. I think everyone does that. And then if you can see that, I also have flags. It's really just important to, you know, flag the important pages because you might get lost. Unless you're smart enough to make a table of contents or an index, but I didn't have the time to think about that. So I have just flags in my notebook to mark my places. So the next thing I have is my bullet journal. I'll just put the brand up here. So this is my bullet journal. I write all of my tasks down in here. I use this every single day. Also in the back, there's this little pouch. Do you see this little pouch? In the pouch, we have stickers. I got these stickers from my mom when she went to Korea. Go inside. There we go. And I close it. It's got this nice little band so that it closes. It's nice and this is my bullet journal. So this is just like a planner and a diary and everything you need all in one. Highly recommend it. If you don't want it, that's fine, but this is just what I use. So that is it for what's in the big pocket here. Now I'm just gonna go with the loose stuff. So the next thing I have is my wallet. It's Vera Bradley. Uh, I have a lot of Vera Bradley products. It's a nice quilt material and it's just really soft and really nice and they just come in a lot of you know shapes and stuff. And then this one comes with a little, what is this? A little strap? Really nice, it's like a little purse. Just, just right on your armpit like that. I've used this since high school and I'm just going to keep using it until the end of time. 
So I keep all of my cards and stuff. You know what a wallet is, you know? It's, it's got my ID cards, it's got my driver's license, it's got, I got some receipts in here. I got a little coin purse, if you can see that. And then, how exciting, I have a pencil case. So this is my pencil case, it's nice and cute, it's got little red flowers on it, it's really my style. And I'm just gonna show you what's inside of it. I have a lot of stuff going on here. I have a highlighter, and guess what? I have another highlighter, and then I have a bunch of flags, as I showed you earlier. I have a lot of these little post-it flags, this is blue, and then I have this eraser. I've literally had this eraser since high school, and then I also have this ruler. It's a Hello Kitty ruler, and I've had this since I was a kid. So I keep this in here, just in case I want to, you know, do something special to my bullet journal, or I need this. There's always going to be a time where you need a ruler, and I'm prepared for that moment. No, don't. So these are just 0.5 gel pens. I have them in the rainbow colors and then I have black. And this brand is called Tonga Miffy. And I got them on Amazon. They're Korean, they're really cute. And the quality is pretty good. Um, they also are apparently scented. I haven't bothered to smell them yet. They are indeed scented. So I have them in multiple colors. They're very handy for bullet jerk. My heart, it happened. So these are just good for bullet journaling, for standard note taking. When I want to go back and annotate my notes, I can annotate in different colors. It just really helps with the thinking process up in here. So I have those pens, and then I also have these pens. My mom got these for me when she was in Korea. They are the brand Monami and they are 0.5 pens. They're ballpoint, so they are very fine, and it's really, really nice. I have two of these left. The ink kind of goes by fast, but they really serve me well. They're kind of hard to find. They're just not, they're not really on Amazon. So it was, it, it was really a gift. And then I just have one mechanical pencil, just in case I need to write with pencil. But most of the time I write with pen, we don't really need pencils in college other than when we're taking exams and stuff, so if I need that, then I will go and find some wooden pencils, but other than that, everything in here is mostly pens. So the last thing I have in the main pocket is this pouch, and this is where I keep my chargers. I have my MacBook charger, and then I have technically an iPad charger, but I have my phone charger, as you can see by the little head. These are very fragile for some reason, even though they're really expensive. You would think that they would make it a little better and a little more strong, but no. So I just felt the need to put some extra protection on my chargers, so I have this little pouch. It's a, technically a makeup pouch, but it serves the purpose well. This is also Vera Bradley. Nice and colorful, it really just goes with my style. So that is it for the big pocket. I'm gonna show you the fun stuff which is in this pocket. Inside the little pocket I have just your standard Kleenex. Um, this is just tissues, just in case I ever need them. Um, you know, lately it's been very cold. Sometimes you get a runny nose. It's just nice to have these around. Next I have my earphones. I connect these to my MacBook. I don't know where my phone earphones are, but it's nice because then I'm walking around with no earphones on and I'm actually, you know, absorbing the world, listening for cars and all that. So these are just some earphones from my laptop because I can't connect them to my phone unless you have that little contraption thing, but I don't have that. So this is my phone. I don't really keep it in my backpack. I keep it in my pocket. Oh, I got a notification for Black Pink House. Yes, I'm gonna watch it later. Do you guys like my lock screen? Next, I have lotion. My hands have been very dry. They've been bleeding because I've been carrying my water bottle around, so my hand is constantly exposed. This hand is perfectly fine. This hand is broken. She is bleeding, she is hurt. So I have lotion and I'm running out. As you can see, it's really thin. Um, it has served me well, and I will miss it. And I will buy another one, eventually. Next, I have hand sanitizer. This one smells like papaya melon scoop. Next, I have this mirror. It's a clamshell kind of mirror. 
I've had this since I think before high school. I still have it. Um, the brand is Tarina Tarantino. I got it as a gift and I've still kept it. It's got little rhinestones on it and it's really pretty. And then I have this flash drive. I've had this one flash drive since middle school. And then I just connected a little owl plushy thingy at the end because it makes sounds. If I feel this in my backpack, then I know my flash drive is in here because this is very tiny and I don't want to lose it. So I connected this little plush doll thing to the end. It's just really cute. And then I have a little survival kit. I have a lanyard. It says, Go Bears. Because of my school, Go Bears. And then on this lanyard, I have pepper spray and a whistle just in case I ever need to fight someone and protect myself. And then, oh my gosh, I forgot about this. So I have a tiny little Tabasco, just in case sometimes you want to spice your life up. I have this tiny little Tabasco. I got it as a gift. Just search up tiny Tabasco on Google. You'll find it somewhere. Let me just open it and smell it. Yes, wow, that is powerful. Tiny little bottle, but powerful. And then next, I just have some lip tint. Um, I usually carry two, just in case I want two different colors. I have my red one. I have an orange one too, but just not with me right now. And then finally, last thing, most important thing, chapstick. I have a lot of chapsticks just lying around everywhere. I have a chapstick in my backpack. I have a chapstick in the car. I have a chapstick in the bathroom where I do my makeup. It's just important to have a lot of chapstick. So that is the last thing in the small pocket. There is one last thing that I didn't mention that wasn't in my backpack, but I do carry almost every single day, which is food. I carry food in my backpack because you're going to get hungry in college and you don't want to be without food. So I have Cliff Bars with me. Are they the healthiest thing in the world? Maybe not, but they get the job done. They taste good. I'm here for a good time. I'd like to be here for a long time too, but I'm also here for a good time, okay? So this is my favorite flavor, it's chocolate chip. So that is absolutely everything in my backpack, just what I carry on a daily basis. And I hope this video was interesting or helpful or entertaining in some kind of way. I just like seeing what's in other people's backpacks and you know, just seeing what is important for them in their life, in their education. But that is everything in my backpack. So that is everything for this video. But before we go, we will end it with a hug. As always, as I'm going to do for the rest of... For the rest of my time on this channel. When does this end? When does the internet end? When does... I'm not gonna talk about that right now. We're just gonna end it with a hug. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you very soon. Bye.